In at number 10 we have Google Forms. Google Forms are a great and easy way to create tests, quizzes, questionnaires, sign up sheets, gather student feedback, collaborate on a project or any other type of form that you can think of. Easy to set up and embed in GCU Learn and students can interact with the form, fill in the required information and submit. The possibilities are endless. At 9 it's Flipsnack, a great way to transform your PDFs into online flipping books. Create, share and embed to make your content more engaging. Students will be able to interact with the flipbook, turn the pages and read straight from GCU Learn. Your digital flipbooks will work flawlessly in any browser, are fully responsive and mobile friendly. Simply upload your PDF document and give it a try. Twitter at number 8, the world's number one microblogging platform can be embedded right into your GCU Learn module. Great for student collaboration. Email seems a little old fashioned for collaboration. Consider using Twitter to motivate your students in order to work on collaborative assignments. Encourage students to participate in a tweet chat without even needing to leave GCU Learn. A new entry at number 7 with Leganto, the reading list solution implemented by our very own library to help improve the teaching and learning experience. Easily create, share and manage course reading lists for your students right inside your GCU Learn module. Add citations from the web, library search, manually or import from existing citation tools. Leganto looks modern, is interactive and works great on all platforms and mobile devices. No move at number 6 for this on-demand TV and radio for education service, Bob, Box of Broadcasts. Their academically focused system allows staff and students to record programs from over 65 free-to-air channels. Search their extensive archive with over 2 million TV and radio broadcasts. You're sure to find some great resources to embed into your module. PowerPoint, Microsoft's presentation tool that we're all familiar with, is in at number 5. But why are we only uploading our slides, forcing students to click on a boring link when we could embed the entire presentation into GCU Learn, so that it can be displayed exactly as you had originally intended? Plus, making things far more engaging and interactive. Even better, why not keep the PowerPoint presentations for the classroom and instead use Sway, in at number 4 for your online presentations. Sway is easy to use, allowing you to create and share interactive reports and presentations completely online. Sway is modern and is probably the number one tool for creating great, interactive and visually interesting content. Collaborate better and be more productive with Padlet at number 3. With this free online virtual wall tool, you can make beautiful boards, documents and web pages that are easy for students to read and contribute to. YouTube is in at number 2, easily embed YouTube videos into your module to use as interactive resources. Being able to watch the video direct inside GCU Learn is far more engaging for students than clicking a link. And no move at number 1 for EdShare, a fantastic tool from the GCU library. Simply upload your own videos and then embed them directly into GCU Learn. Unlike uploading videos directly to Blackboard, EdShare has unlimited storage, so you can upload as many videos as you want and you have far more control than you do over YouTube videos.